Stuart Bowen is a guy who was tasked with investigating corruption in Iraq during the U.S. Reconstruction. And The Guardian is reporting that the U.S. ignored appeals and information on a billion dollars that was stolen and found in Lebanon. So this is an incredible story. Let me give you some more details on it. Quote, an investigation codenamed Brick Tracker struggled to uncover details of the transfer. Washington had long since forgotten about the cash. I love that. How do you forget about a billion dollars? Uh, and shrugged when informed about the discovery. The CIA expressed little interest in the money, the FBI said it lacked jurisdiction, and the U.S. Embassy in Beirut denied his team permission to visit the bunker because it was too dangerous. So, let me paint this picture for you. A billion dollars is stolen, it's lost, and then it's found in a Lebanese bunker and nobody blinked, nobody cared, nobody went to get it. Okay, again, stop and think about how out of this world bonkers that is. Hey, man, we lost a billion dollars. I mean, I would fucking, if I'm in charge of uh, that particular government agency which oversees the money, I'm like, you lost how much? Every single one of you punk-ass bitches are fired, okay? And I would go groveling back to my higher up. I'm so sorry, I lost a billion dollars. These guys lost a billion dollars. They're like, hey, what's for lunch? Do you guys feel like eating tacos? Would you rather have that or pizza? What do you think? A billion went missing? Whatever. Anyway, so I was beating off on this porn website. I mean, they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. Didn't blink. Didn't care. Then they, the money got found. It was found. And they're like, wait, you found the money? Yeah, we found it. It's in Lebanon in a bunker. We got it over there. Eh, fuck it. Leave it. Just leave it. Who does that? Only the United States of America. That's my contention right here, right now, is only the United States of America would say, eh, fuck, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Billion, billion here, billion there. If we lose it, it doesn't matter. These are the same people, by the way. They lose the money, right? They, they don't care. But then these are the same people who casually over a dinner conversation would be like, Ah, oh, you know how those blacks are. Lazy parasite moochers always taking our government money. Meanwhile, food stamps goes, is what, a dollar and 30 cents a meal? I mean, it, do you realize what this billion dollars could have gone towards? How many kids are in America without health care? Okay. How many people are struggling? How many people can't pay the bills, can't keep the lights on? How many people work a minimum wage job, which is not a living wage, so they work full time, they don't make enough money to survive? I mean, there are so many things that this could have gone Anything would have been better than what happened right now. Even if you took that money, split it up a hundred different ways, and gave it to Wall Street executives, it would still be going to better use than just leaving it in a bunker in Lebanon. Because at least the, the Wall Street executives can get their blow. Get some more blow, be happy for a few more days. You know how these guys are. That would have been better. But no, they just leave the money behind. Now, that's bad enough. Just a billion dollars lost, found. They don't blink, they don't give a shit. But also, during the entire reconstruction of Iraq, get this, we spoke about this before, but it's worth mentioning again. Quote, at least $8 billion went missing. $8 billion. I don't want to hear anybody bring up the idea of fiscal responsibility, fiscal conservatism, deficits, or anything else regarding that until, unless and until, we first sit down and have a conversation about being responsible with the money, okay, and just cutting military spending across the board. See, this is one of the biggest problems with military spending and nation building that nobody brings up. It's that this is the kind of shit that happens because it's a giant bureaucracy and you're giving money to private contractors, to people who aren't trustworthy, no bid contracts often. They take the money, they, they pocket 
a large number of it and just pad the bottom line and make more profit and buy a place in Boca Raton and they build shitty infrastructure or no infrastructure at all in Iraq and the money doesn't go towards what it's supposed to go towards and then never mind, I'm just talking about the American contractors. Then when you get the Iraqi contractors involved, oh, forget it. They're just as corrupt, if not even more corrupt than the U.S. contractors. Why would anybody ever think it's a good idea to nation build? But that's just the thing. Nobody actually thinks it's a good idea because that wasn't the point. The point was for people to make money. The point was to loot the treasury because these guys took advantage of a, a terrible situation, 9-11, and they planned to invade Iraq. They wanted to invade Iraq. It's a well-known fact that the neoconservatives had a hard-on for Iraq for the longest time. They used this as a justification to go into Iraq, and then they got all their buddies rich. You know, they handed out all of the money to these different defense contractors, which are really offense contractors, and all these companies to rebuild. They didn't fucking rebuild. And if they did, they did a very shitty job in the few areas where they did rebuild. Okay? It, shoddy contracting, poor electrical grid, you name it. Just ridiculous fuck-ups all over the place. And they just did it to take the money. I mean, what is it? Halliburton stock went up some absurd uh, percentage uh, after the war in Iraq because Dick Cheney and his buddies gave a no-bid contract to Halliburton. What a surprise. He used to work with Halliburton, work for Halliburton. He was a leader at Halliburton. And then, lo and behold, they get a no-bid contract when the thing happens in Iraq. But this is what we're talking about. This is the result. 57% of discretionary spending is military spending. So I don't want to hear a peep about cutting any social safety net program. Any ones, even the inefficient ones, even the ones that suck. Okay, I don't want to hear a peep about cutting any of those programs unless and until we first have a conversation about cutting the military budget at least in half and we stop not even caring about losing a billion dollars, eight billion dollars in Iraq while we're rebuilding a nation that we shouldn't be rebuilding in the first place because we should have never went in there. I mean, all this, a tremendous amount of U.S. taxpayers' dollars totally wasted. Trillions of dollars with a T. Totally wasted. Totally wasted. And for what? For absolutely nothing. And you're seeing the results right here.